Well, the fundamental law of highways is that every highway you build generates enough new traffic that wasn't there before to fill the new highway to capacity. So high, big highways always tend to be full. And uh, uh, I, I published a paper, this was my first, one of my first papers on exponential growth, showing that the differential equation for the number of miles of highway in the country was exactly the differential equation that produces exponential growth. And I published it in, in the journal Civil Engineering, and somebody published a rebuttal and said, well, that isn't the way it works. He didn't say what was wrong with my arithmetic or my assumptions. He said, it just doesn't work that way. And we're responding to need. We're not out there generating new traffic. And uh, uh, well, you can see it in Denver, in the south of Denver, uh, the I-25, you know, had been crowded. And uh, so now they're doing this giant T-Rex project on that highway costing billions of dollars, taking several years, I don't know, five, maybe more years to do it, and to add new lanes. Well, what do you know will be the condition of the new lanes a couple of years after they're open? They'll be just as crowded as the old lanes were before they started the construction. The traffic will just fill it up, and then that, and th this brings up a wonderful law, and this is Eric Severide's law. And Eric Severide was a global journalist. He was a national journalist. And he, he observed that the chief source of problems is solutions. So you've got a problem. I-25 was crowded. What's the solution? All this money, all this time, build new lanes. The new lanes will be just as crowded as the old lanes were within just a year or two of their opening. And that's the new problem created by the solution to the old problem. 